Right, this is a bank holiday Monday, the day after a visit to Urban Jungle. So, what did I buy? I did buy a couple of plants from Urban Jungle, so we'll have a look at them. Um, the first one, I thought this was quite a good deal, and this that's a tropical plant, but not really one for the garden. Is a type of philodendron, so it is philodendron plowmanii. £11.50, and I thought that was a really good price for a plant. Um, three really nice leaves on it, and we can see this is a type that you get like the silvery pattern on the leaves. It is a, a crawl on philodendron rather than a, a climber. But which I'm not really normally a fan of the, the crawlers so much, but um, with leaves like that, I, I couldn't resist for £11.50. So, yeah, that's out the house plant section. And I will say, I would have liked to have done a video in the house plant section, but um, that is also the cafe area, and there's so many people in there, I just couldn't do it. But um, if you are in the area, um, Urban Jungle in Beckles, so it's Beckles, Suffolk. They have also got a, a branch in Norfolk, um, near Norwich. But yeah, the, the Beckles in Suffolk is where I visited, and the indoor section is amazing. They've got some bird of paradise, um, the white form, giant form, and I've never seen anything like it. They must have been, I don't know. 20 foot plus leaves with five six foot absolutely massive in relatively small pots but anyway so let's go on so we did buy two plants from urban jungle so this is a second and this is like a uh, a shade damp shade plant which could be a, a good substitute for gunnera or something like that and these have got potential to get quite big, not gunner a size, but a similar sort of vibe, sort of big round leaves. Um, still boides. Is it going to focus? Um, it does. Oh. It's not saying on the tag, but it said a spread of two and a half metres and two and a half metres high, so in time. Um, yeah, nice interesting shape leaf. Um, something I've been looking for. This was £14.99. So quite a full plant, there's loads of growths on that and some nice leaves, still pushing out leaves. So yeah, I thought. That's one I've, I've sort of been on the radar again, but I never got round to buying, and I, you, it's not something you see in the nurseries all the time. Um, I've looked online and with postage, um, I don't know, anywhere between sort of 15, 20 quid, and that's a fairly small plant. Well, this is a three litre, so I think that's quite reasonable. It's hardy down to minus 10, so yeah, good. Good shady, damp shade plant. Very tropical looking with the big leaves, so that will get quite large in time. So I may well phase out my gunner and uh, replace it with this. Right, so they're the two purchases from Urban Jungle, but I did stop off at some other nurseries along the way. Um, there's one quite nearby in Barnaby, Suffolk, on the Barnaby Bends, if you're familiar with the Suffolk area. It's a fairly small garden centre, but some really good deals to be had there. Um, so I did buy, and I'm a bit of a sucker for for cord lines, especially like the, the electric sort of purpley ones I quite like, and I'll, I'm going to do a, a video separate video on these because there's several that uh, look very similar but with different names and we'll see how similar they are or whether they are indeed the same plant with just different names but this one is called Electric Pink and again from uh, 
Barnaby Nursery Centre. Um, I'll try and get the tag for you, or the, the price tag, shall I say. Are you going to go? Fifteen ninety-five. so it's a fairly big plant, so I think that's sort of a standard price. But it did stand out um, against the other cord lines they had, just the, the, the nice colour. So again, it's saying electric pink. Um, there's a lot of information on there, so I don't know, you could pause and read it if you wanted. But they're not going to be as hardy as your standard cord lines. Um, yeah, so what I, like I say, I'll do a separate video on that, comparing that to Charlie Boy, um, Salsa and Southern Splendor, which are all sort of pink cord lines. Right, so they're the, the small purchases. Um, when I was in Barnaby Nursery Centre, I did buy a couple of trees, and uh, fairly big trees at that, so let's have a look at them now. I've got them leaning against the, the hothouse because they're quite tall. So one of these, Wind's getting up a little bit. Try and head towards the wind so it doesn't affect the audio too much. So this is a, a roos tree. This is one I've been after for a while because it look, reminds me a lot of a, a palm tree, the, the palmate leaves and uh, you get the nice red flowers on these and they turn bright red in autumn and in fact some of the, the leaves at the top there are already starting to to turn um, so this is an impulse buy but I did want to get one of these and I've been looking about online for a decent size and they're quite pricey this is about just over 11 foot because the hothouse is 11 foot tall and this is just a bit higher so it's quite a tall tree and I quite like the trunk because it's sort of a bit of a gnarly wiggle to it. It's in a 40 litre pot, so it's a big, big root mass. So this is ready to go in the ground. Um, it didn't have a price tag on it, so I had to ask someone who worked there and they weren't sure. And they ended up giving it to me for 40 quid. I think for 11 foot specimen tree for 11 quid, uh, 11 quid, 11 foot um, for 40 quid, um, I thought it was a bit of a bargain because I've just looked online and for a similar size that's 130 quid. So yeah, I think I got a good deal on that and like I say, not a huge amount of branches and to be honest, I did snap a couple of branches getting in the car because uh, Again, 11 foot tree in a, a standard sort of car is pushing it. So I did snap a branch and I have, if you can see, put a splint on it and tied it up. So I'm hoping that will heal itself. If not, we might lose this little branch here. But if not, it doesn't matter because there's still quite a lot of other branches there. So this is, this is deciduous. So it will leave, lose leaves in the winter, but Again, for 40 quid for something that looks tropical but is totally hard, you know, just reminds me of a palm tree. And these do sucker, which uh, where I'm going to put this, it's not going to be a problem because I'll take them off as a sucker if, if, if and when. So, yeah, I thought that was a bit of a bit of a bargain, but not the biggest bargain of the day because look at the next door right here, we've got. A eucalyptus which this one is just over 11 foot this eucalyptus is about three or four foot more so we're looking at least 15 foot eucalyptus here um, quite full at the top but quite a long spindly trunk already starting to get a nice sort of uh, peeling effect on the trunk don't know how well that's picking up and uh, with eucalyptus they do sort of 
branch off everywhere so we've got a little bit of growth at the bottom here um, it's a 20 litre pot um, so I did look at a lot of eucalyptus I'm not, I weren't looking to buy one to be fair and this is just a ganii but at the price I thought I could do something with it um, so how much was it Ten quid clearance. So it just says this is a healthy tree, but um, just needs some tender love and care. Um, yeah, just I'm gonna keep this in a pot, but I'll have it in a, a taller pot, and I'll probably put it somewhere. Well, I want a bit of height, but. Not a huge canopy, so this is again a tree you really can chop about, and uh, that will survive just about anything. You can chop this, coppice it right down, chop it, do whatever you want, and it'll still continue to grow. You can't, you do a lot to kill a eucalyptus, but yeah, again for nearly a 15 foot tree for 10 quid, couldn't really turn that down. Again, if you're in the area and you're looking for one, they did have about 20 for 10 quid. Some were a little bit shorter, a bit fuller. I wanted some height, so I got this one. And again, a bit of a squeeze getting in the car, but because they are quite flexible, I managed to bend it right round. No breakages on that. Yeah, eucalyptus gunny eye for 10 quid. Can't argue with that. Um, yeah, so that is the, the purchases from urban jungle and if you're in that area check out Barnaby nursery as well um, well worth a look thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one